नमस्कार डेम्पो हेल्थ केअर प्रस्तुत आणि स्वर्गीय श्री विश्वासराव डेम्पो यांच्या यादीन अलर्ट ऍक्टिव्ह अँड अलाईव्ह ॲट हंड्रेड या कार्यावळीन तुमचे सगळ्यांचे स्वागत दर शुक्रारा रातचे दहा वरचे आम्ही हजर जातात प्रुडंट मीडियाचे तुमका मेळू आणि तुमच्याशी चर्चा करपा ऑन स्वास्थ्य अँड हेल्थ आमच्या बरोबर असतात डॉक्टर दिगंबर नाईक हू इज अ रिनाउंड हार्ट स्पेशलिस्ट फ्रॉम गोवा अँड हुज नेम हॅज ऑलरेडी बीन रेकग्नाइज्ड ॲज वन ऑफ द फिफ्टी पाथ फाइंडर्स ऑफ द इंडियन हेल्थ केअर इंडस्ट्री वेलकम टू द शो डॉक्टर नमस्कार दर एपिसोडात आम्ही तांनीच बरयले पुस्तक अलर्ट ऍक्टिव्ह अँड अलाईव्ह ॲट हंड्रेड या पुस्तकात तांनी जे विषय मांडिले असतात हजे चर्चा करतात आणि आमचा विषय च चलिल्लो तो हेल्दी रिलेशनशिपचे आणि वेगवेगळे ताज्याबद्दल आम्ही चर्चा केली असा पण सगळ्यात पहिली वेळ जाता तो पळोप्यांकडून आमका आयल्या प्रश्नांची उतरा दिवप आणि ह्या विकान एक इंटरेस्टिंग प्रश्न आमका आयो असा आणि तो म्हणजे वक्ता घेऊपाच्या वेळेचे एक प्रश्न आमच्याकडे आयला आयला पळोप्या करून की वॉट ही सेज इज ही ऑलवेज मिसेस द टाईम of the medicine that are prescribed <laughs> by the doctor now what he does is he takes the medicines later on so now he is worried whether he is doing right or whether he should stick to the particular time given by the doctor ata ho prashna sagancho asta kenna kenna kite jata ghai asta amka work asta khai vachpache asta tar ami sagli vakta ekdam geun bahar sarta kiwa ghenat ani magir jenna vel melta taso ami vakta getan तर आय थिंक वी शूड पुट लाईट ऑन दिस मॅटर की वक्तांची वेळ पाळप आणि ते वक्ता त्या वेळेचे घेवप हे कितले इम्पॉर्टंट असा आणि ताजोच एक आम्ही विषय हाज्या बद्दल आम्ही चर्चा करची असे मला तरी दिसतात सो डॉक्टर तुमका वॉट एडवाईस कॅन यू गिव्ह टू दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट एस्पेक्ट ओके व्हेरी व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट आम्ही सीख कित्याक पडटा सो एक पर्टिक्युलर ॲसमा जो माझ्या भीत दॅट मीन्स माय बॉडी हॅज चेंज्ड बॉडीचे मेटाबॉलिजम चेंज झाला ओके अँड दॅन आय गिव्ह मेडिसिन्स टू सेट इट रायट मेटाबॉलिजम सेट राय सेट सारखे करून द द डिसीज इज क्युअर्ड आणि एव्हरी डिसीज इज अ डिफरंट डिसीज प्रत्येक रोगाचे टायमिंग असतं प्रत्येक रोग डिफरंट डिफरंट हितून हे करता सो वी आर चेंजिंग द मेटाबॉलिजम ऑफ द होल बॉडी and metabolism moves at every different stage differently right. when you are awake you are not same your metabolism is not same as when you are sleeping right when you are in a hurry your metabolism is not same as when you are relaxing in the morning metabolism is different in the evening metabolism different and you can see it on your routine right. thing right? you feel differently when you get up in the morning at night you are different why because internally metabolism is different and if ho here medicine there's a every medicine is timed along with the metabolism because it in it is it is going to go and interfere with the metabolism mm. in fact this is a science which is called as a chrono therapy mm. chronology is relates to time mm. and therapy is to is a treatment it's yeah. called chrono therapy and it's a very very important science mm. there is a lot of study into this science mm. because different medicines again will act at different times mm. different medicines will act in relation to the food differently mm. today there are what are called as a smart medicine you know a mm. cast tablet and i mean don't think drugs galta mm. at a particular time particular place particular pressure at ek medicine release jata then the second medicine re- is released at a different time mm. third medicine is de- released at a different time in a different ph mm. all this is put together okay we have different way of looking mm. at it okay so metabolism timing is different mm. the medicine is given differently if you take all these into consideration plus your diseases act mm. differently mm. you have different manifestations of a disease at different times mm. म्हणजे हा जो अर्थ असं जाता की तुमका जे मेडिसिन ज्या टायमार प्रिस्क्राईब केल्या त्या टायमार घेवप हे गरजेचे असा ताजेच एक वेगळे सायन्स असा आता डॉक्टरांनी सांगितल्याप्रमाणे क्रोनोथेरपी इज अ इज अ दॅट लाईन ऑफ सायन्स विच टेल्स यू द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ मेडिसिन्स टू बी टेकन ऑन 
particular timing. I'll Plus, give you I think few, yeah, I'll give you the few smart examples. medicine is going to help for those people who forget to take medicines, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Every medicine today is not given and created to those people who forget to medicine. Those who forget will always forget. Why do you forget? You forget only because when you do not give sufficient importance to it. Right. Okay. If you give importance to a particular job, you cannot forget. <laughs> Very fact, I have forgotten to, uh, to do something. That means I have not given importance to it. Very nicely put. Okay, and you will find this routine. This tomorrow is your birthday, hmm. and I don't wish you uh, tomorrow on your birthday. <laughs> what does it mean to you? <laughs> I have forgotten right. your birthday. It's very simple. <laughs> Okay, if I remember or try to remember, okay, I've got particular friend, try to remember, then I will never forget it on that day. Right. I'll so be the first one to greet In simple words that you have to stick to the time you that is given to. You have to. Okay, the time, the time is not left to the doctor, time is hmm. left to the science. Hmm. Like you take cancer, okay. In uh, colon cancer, we give right. a drug called 5-FU5, five, uh, five five, fluorouracil. Hmm. You know, this drug is given in the night. Hmm. Why? Because what is cancer cell? Cancer cell is something which is multiplying constantly. Mm. Mm. While in the night, if you t the, the cancer cells will keep on multiplying, but the normal cells won't metabolize that fast. Mm. Normal cells are sleeping and cancer cells are multiplying. So, you give a drug do, uh, during that time, it goes along with this. So, it does not harm the, the normal cells. cells much. Right. It only kills the cancer cells which are highly metabolizing at mm. that stage. Mm. If you give it during the day, mm -hmm. it will also harm the normal cells. Cholesterol, you all know we, we give statins to cholesterol mm. and all statins are given in the evening mm. after the dinner. Why? Because during the day, the liver works different. Liver has lot of other works to do. You are, you are eating, you are digesting, mm. all that liver work has to do. Mm. In the night, what happens? When the, the digestive process is relaxing. Okay. The liver sits down and c starts converting what it has digested. The cholesterol is manufactured. Mm. We don't eat cholesterol. Chale mm. Cholesterol is manufactured by the liver while we are sleeping. Mm. So, a drug which is given to reduce cholesterol has to be given more at that time. Mm. So, that is why your statins mm. are, are always given in the evenings. Mm. And I think we have had an exclusive discussion about statin in our last episode. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, this is going to, you know, add to that. Absolutely. So, I think we should discuss some more uh, ailments and the and the timings of okay. the medicines. You, you, take, you take blood pressure, hmm. okay. Your blood pressure, when we are working during the day, our blood pressure yeah. will definitely be higher. Yes. And in the evening, it falls down. Hmm. That is called as a dipping. Say after say hmm. uh, near, by 12 o'clock in the night, the blood hmm. pressure drops, drops down. down. And so, obviously, you will need blood pressure medicines right. during, the, during the, day. the day more than in the night. Hmm. But uh, after a particular uh, time, you know, especially after the age of 55, hmm. our autonomic system does not work that well. Hmm. And this phenomena I call as a dipping down of the blood pressure in the night does not occur in elderly people. Okay. So, in elderly besides during the day, yeah. we also have to cover them in the night hmm. uh, for, uh, for, for the blood pressure. Yeah. Okay. These are, you know, and uh, you, you see in asthma, what happens in asthma? Hmm. When do you get the asthma attacks more? Mostly at night. Absolutely, 2 a in the morning, uh, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. In fact, 12, a, hmm. 12 to 4 a.m. You find all your hmm. pa uh, asthma right. patient disturbing you. Right. Okay. So when will it's you give early. this medicine? Hmm. At Obviously, night. At, at night. night. During the day, they may not need anything, but most of the asthma medicines have to be given in hmm. the night to cover up all right. this. Hmm. Painkillers like osteoarthritis. Hmm. If you take, if I take a painkiller, NSAIDs, they will take about four hours to have a pain relief action on the body. Char varani tuji action will be pick. Hmm. So if you really want to the pain to go, you will you will tell when is my pain most when hmm. I go for a morning walk, hmm. or when I, I when I'm evening walk, hmm. or during afternoon time. So you will time it four hours prior. prior to the maximum pain that you are getting. Mm. Okay. Same thing with ulcer. Mm. 
Mm. How do we give ulcer, uh, ulcer um, uh, this? Mm. Ulcer, uh, uh, the, uh, stomach acid is maximum in the night. Mm. At 12 o'clock. Yeah, 12 to time. 2 is the maximum, yeah. highest. Yes. So, if you are giving these ulcer medicines, like uh, there are two types of medicine we use today. Mm. One is H2 blockers and one is proton pump inhibitors. Ranitin mm. is H2 blocker. Mm. So, that you will give, you, is usually given at 6 o'clock in the evening. Mm. So, it works after 8 hours. So, by 12 o'clock your acid does not come up. Mm. While proton pump inhibitors should have been given at this time, we find that they act best if they are taken before you start eating. Mm. So, they set the, um, uh, the proton pump, uh, inhibit the proton pump in such a way mm. that the whole day you can take, mm. care, take care of this. Mm. S same thing with rheumatoid arthritis. Hmm. Symptoms are worst in the morning. Right. Stiff zata pa Stiff zata. And hmm. So, these tablets need to be taken in the night. Hmm. Okay. So, that they act in the morning. Absolutely. These are the treated. various ways you hmm. actually, uh, yeah. ev so every disease medicines has to be taken at a particular hmm. time, especially diabetes. Diabetes is very, very complex. Hmm. Your doctor really has to think how to put your various tablets differently. Hmm. We do not have one formula like this disease, at right. least we have one formula. Hmm. In diabetes, it depends upon your absorption, your hmm. timing hmm. and then to the day shift asta, night shift asta, sometimes right. you eat more during the day, more at night, then you know we have that fasting month, Rosa. Lantern, mm. all those sort of mm. things where a whole eating so the pattern. the lifestyle has to be taken yeah. into consideration. So, when you are taking your diabetic diet, diabetic medicines, the whole lifestyle and the way your uh, disease is behaving mm. has to be taken and then doctor really has to be smart enough to actually put your medicines at a proper way. Mm. When doctor ni itla tras gyan janna doctor to amka janna timetable dita when to take mm. the medicine. We can't afford to take that medicine mm. anytime. Right. It will think, cause more harm. Yeah, I think one more thing I, uh, I would like you to put light on is the hormonal tablets. Like suppose there is a lot of cases of thyroidism now, hypothyroidism. Now, I would like you to tell us about the timing of the thyroxine tablets that we uh, take. Yeah, thyroid, th the thyroxine time that is for hypothyroidism. Hmm. Thyroid, there, are, there could be two problems. Yeah. One is hyperthyroid, hyper one is hypothyroid. Hyperthyroid is a short disease. Ek don ne to cure korung hmm. Hypothyroid could be a, even a lifetime disease. Right, like Hashimoto's, okay. like it goes. It, it, yeah. it keeps on going, okay. Yeah. But many of this hypothyroidism also are reco recoverable. Huh? Hmm. If there is an uh, thyroiditis which is uh, mm. the, the infective in the induced, once the infection goes off, mm. it does improve. Even pregnancy, right. hypothyroidism does in, uh, improve. Even during pu pu uh, puberty, mm. it does improve. Not that once you are hypothyroid, you are hypothyroid for the rest of your mm. life, no. Mm. But many of them, yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And the best timing for thyroid uh, drug is in the morning before you have your breakfast. It is absorbed best during early morning hmm. and it starts flowing inside your system. Hmm. It has no, uh, uh, once you, once you start giving, a, uh, once you start eating something, hmm. then the absorption is very erratic. Hmm. So, whatever 50, 25, 50 or 75 up to. So, what, that is the first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning before breakfast along, hmm. if you are taking a proton pump inhibitor along with a proton pump, pump inhibit like your pe pentaprazole. Okay. Hmm. okay, so that is the best, best hmm. time is to take it before breakfast, hmm. not after breakfast. Hmm. So, I think I am going to go to the last time that the time is going to be a lot of time. I am going to go to the doctor and say that I am going to go to the action and the metabolism, the digestion. I am going to consider it. I am going to go to the doctor. I think we should not take it for granted and those people who are forgetting, I think they should remind themselves and tell others to remind you to take the medicines. I think that is all we can you know advise you on if you are forgetful or correct yourself for forgetfulness. Mm. Uh, that is what that is why we are here for you know uh, to talk about how to have a healthy uh, lifestyle. So, I think we have answered this query quite elaborately and I think we should uh, you know get back to our discussion on relationship yeah. because this was a very 